Sometimes you just got to go outside your comfort zone. Hey, it's Kara. Welcome to my Take at the Lake. This is Leanne's birthday, and this is Leanne's birthday gift. Shh, don't tell her. It's a surprise. She is a big fan of Dolly Parton. Faster and faster the calendar turns another year past you. It's a special day for you to shine. Friends all around with cheers and wishes, candles on a cake that's just delicious. It's all for you today because it's birthday time. So I thought I would do her Dolly Parton themed something or other. I really didn't have any idea going in, but this is what came out. I couldn't think of anything more country western feminine Dolly Parton-y than pink and white gingham, right? And she's got a lot of quotes out there about rhinestones. It's hard to be a diamond in a rhinestone world. That's no lie. That is the truth. That is the truth. I've already learned something in hindsight. I did this first. This is cereal boxes I made. I took two and cut them apart and glued them together to make it a little bit more substantial than just a single cereal box layer. But if you could look at the difference between this color and this color, it's the same fabric, but I painted this with white. This composition notebook, I painted it white so the black wouldn't show through. Never even occurred to me to do it on here. And now they look mismatched. I'm going to tell her she has to keep them on separate shelves. So from across the room, they're perfectly matched. I did a it's sort of a junk journal, sort of junk journal cover with traveler's notebook style inserts. So it's kind of a hybrid and a glue book. We'll just start with the journal. N no great shakes here other than the reason I'm bringing it to you is because this is a really easy way to do a themed gift for someone. I've done Rick Springfield for my friend. I've done Night of the Living Dead or Walking Dead. Is it Walking Dead? Night of the Living Dead is something else. <laughs> Get your zombie story straight, would you please? Thanks. Uh, it's super easy. I went to the internet because I'm not selling these. I'm not making any profit on these, so it's perfectly fine. What I did is I went to the internet and I found gorgeous pictures. I mean, there's a bazillion pictures of Dolly Parton over the last 50 some 60 years. And some of her very best quotes. This is her signature product label thing. So this is the wise words of Dolly. Isn't she beautiful? She is so pretty. I took, I don't know how many pictures from the internet and I usually take screenshots of the pictures because my computer's camera takes way better pictures than what people upload typically and so they come out clear and then I took them to Canva and I have some footage here I'll throw it in I took all my pictures I uploaded them to Canva and then I I just laid them out you'll recognize the pink and gray pages as background pages for one of my digital kits Oh, the peonies. I believe it was background pages for the peonies project. I, I just imported the gray pages and imported the pink pages because a lot of the pictures were black and white. And I like the grunge background with the elegant pictures. I like that contrast. And I just laid out, I think it's 30, 30 some pages with pictures of Dolly. Now she can glue book in here. She can use this as a commonplace book. She can do all kinds of things. I of course included my letter from the bookmakers that explains what something like this can be used for. This is available free at my Patreon page. There's also a letter in the glue book about a glue book. That's also available. It's in the letters and lists collection on my Patreon page. Just hop over to my Patreon page. They're free for the taking. But if you're going to give a gift like this, people are often flattered. Oh, a handmade gift. Oh, just for me. Oh, it's customized. What the hell am I going to do with it? And so far, everyone I've given one of these to has done nothing with it, despite having the letter, despite me showing them a thousand different things they can do with it. They don't want to ruin it. They don't want to touch it. They don't do anything with it. And that's their prerogative, but I think it stinks, quite frankly. Anyway, back to Canva. I just laid out the pictures in different places. You'll see uh, different 
different sizes some so and i then i put them together alternating pink and gray pink and gray um, randomly so sometimes you'll have a picture in a blank sometimes two blanks a quote and a blank this quote is above everything else i've done i've always said i have more guts than i have talent some vintage pictures and some of them don't come i mean this looks pretty good on camera but close up it's kind of fuzzy so that's what happens when you take pictures from the internet you know you it's a bit of a gamble more black and white sometimes you'll have two pictures on one side and that's all right the randomness adds to the beauty of it i think what i tried to do was the black and whites on the black and anything that would clash with pink because there's some pink some pictures in here like here with her red shirt on. I wouldn't want that red shirt on this pink background. So I just tried to be real cognizant of those kinds of things when I laid these out. And she's very soft. She has almost a pink glow to her. I didn't want that on a hot pink page. It's okay next to it, but as a background, I wanted this one to be on black and white. And those are the kind of things that I think about when I lay these pages out. Again, she's in a hot pink sparkly suit. And it ties in real nicely, just by random. That happened by happenstance. I love this picture of her. Shine where you are, like bloom where you are planted. She has some really good quotes. I also, there's three signatures in here, and each signature in the center has this little music pocket just to tuck things in. She can glue these down or staple them if she wants, washi tape them closed. I also did not sew these in. I tied them in with ribbon, uh, just so that they're easier for her to take in and out if she wants to glue stuff down or write in it. It's so much easier to take the pages in and out and do that versus trying to work in a book that has sewn in signatures. And if she wants, she can rearrange the pages. Again, here's Dolly in that red shirt red shirt this must be one of her album covers perhaps uh, i didn't want that on pink that pink and red are just sometimes they go together around valentine's day but most of the time they clash no images which is weird because every single page has images it's just how where they ended up dreams are of no value if they're not equipped with wings Another really beautiful vintage picture of her. Anyway, each each signature is what it is. And I tried to get pictures of all ages when she was very young and just starting out and more current. This is funny. I have little feet because nothing grows in the shade. <laughs> Go Dolly. I uh, made just a bookmark. Again, I should have painted it white before I put it on, but this matches the journal perfectly. <laughs> The music I tried to incorporate, obviously she's a musician, a singer, etc. She has a thing for butterflies, so I kept that in there. Um, she, meaning Dolly Parton, has a thing for butterflies. And this is kind of pinkish, but Leanne likes Bewitched. So I picked that for her, for that signature. One of Leanne's favorite movies is The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. And I believe that is a scene from there. I had to include this picture. This is from Dolly's pet gala. She raises money for Beastly's. Of course. I had to include that. It's not a very good picture. It's kind of fuzzy, but that's all right. And then more of the same. I always count my blessings more than I count my money. I don't work for money. Never did. That's a great quote. A lot of spangles, you know, blingalicious. This is to Michael, but I wanted to include one of her. I love that picture, and I wanted to include a signature, an autograph. And then I can dream, can't I? She just seems to have a real dreamy sense about her, and I thought that that would be a good one. A couple different things, just this sideways something or other, just for something different. Um, Dolly Parton, 2024. 
And I ended with a gorgeous vintage picture. Happy birthday, the date, and my signature. Uh, she talks a lot about rhinestones. It's, it's not terribly gaudy. Some of the things that Dolly wears are a little over the top, but not terribly. So I wanted this to kind of be ride that line a little over the top, but not gaudy. You know, you got to shine a little bit. So this is the glue book. Again, I painted the composition book with white acrylic craft paint front and inside. Even though I covered most of it up, I could have just done this. I wasn't sure what I was going to do in here, though, so I painted the whole thing. Covered it with fabric. Just like you do any other journal, laid it out too big, cut the corners, mitered it, folded them over. On this, I used primarily my tape runner gun because it's super strong. I did use a little bit of Scotch Create just as a safety net as well. This was a border from a Pioneer Woman magazine page, and it, it just screams country western to me, and it had nice colors in it, so I made tabs just randomly like there's one right here in the front and then randomly throughout the only other thing that i've done in here is in the center fold i put more of the same border just for something pretty and then the last page is another vintage photo i mean does that scream 1970s or what I make it a point to appreciate all the little things in my life. I go out and I smell the air after a good hard rain. These small actions help remind me that there are so many great, glorious pieces of good in the world. I included, this is a glue book for you letter, as I said earlier, these, these, as well as, an, so I have a book, a letter about glue books, a letter about junk journals and a letter about altered books on my patreon page free for the taking if you would like to use them and it just explains what a glue book is and how you can use it and what it's for and, and gives different ideas on what to put in it i tuck that in there i also made when i was on canva i took a whole bunch of dolly quotes from the internet, just loads of them. This font is pretty and it's called Rebel. And I think Dolly is a bit of a rebel and I just thought that was perfect. So I used the Rebel font throughout. And it's different quotes for different kinds of things on life, on work, on everything. And then at the very end, it says, love Dolly Parton. So I'm including those. Now these she can cut apart and put in her journal. She can cut apart and put in a planner if she's using a planner of some sort. She can toss them throughout her glue book. She can tape them up on her cupboards and countertops in order to remind herself to stay positive and you know what would Dolly do kind of stuff. And I've gathered a couple just a few little bits and pieces of Dolly stuff to get her glue book started. I didn't glue these in because she might not use it as a dolly glue book. She might use it for something else. So once we give them, we give them freely. Oh, I also just did a teeny little one on each side of the ribbon just for to have something on that gray ribbon. This is just stuff I got. This is from Wall, uh, Dollar Tree. Here I just glued it right on the front, but on the Spine here, I folded it over and glued it just with a heaping helping of Scotch Create glue. Here at the bottom, I just folded it over so it's one long piece to make that spine a little bit stronger. Anyway, we give these freely. What people do with them is not our business. It's not our it's not our ballywick. You know, they they'll do with them what they will. I hope she gets some use out of it. I hope she enjoys it. We're going to enjoy a ladies tea party today in celebration of Leanne's birthday. 
I hope you have a wonderful day. This is going to be a flip through Friday, which is hosted by Christina at Christina's Shack. Always a good idea if you're using a hashtag to let people know where the hashtag came from. A credit where credit is due, but B, so the person who creates the hashtag can go see what's being done with it because that's half the fun of making a hashtag is to see what people create with it um, and that it's catching on and people are sharing it because that means what we're doing matters and we need to know that <laughs> as youtubers we tend to be all a little insecure once in a while about stuff like that <laughs> anyway go love up your beastlies have a wonderful wonderful crafty day My tag at the lake, out for now.